on my skateboard basically. And this is basically, and also my, basically my skateboard has kind of like broke. And this happened the other day, I was literally, first started, I was, first like started going really slow. I was like, why is it going slow? And then it, I was like, then, but then I was like, you know what, I'm going to keep going. But then it just fell off. And I, I could see it was going to come off, but I was like, it's not off yet. And then it off, went off like the next second. But yeah, anyway, I'll show you the wheels off. And bear, I mean, that's not even that. That's not even from the bearing. That's just another bearing that I had. And basically, yeah. And that's the condition it is in. I basically get a new board just because I feel like it's worn down. If you get me. And um, since the wheels come off, and it's not come off in like a way that you can screw it back on. It's like come off like that, and it's like come off in like a way that like quite a complicated way, I don't know if you have to remove the bearings, it's just, I don't actually have the tools on me at the moment in time, so I just thought, you know what, I'll, well, I'll just get, it's worn down, I may as well just get a new one, if you get me, so I thought it was, I was going to get a new one anyway, but I was thinking, I'm going to use this until it breaks, and it has broken, but it's just not in the way that I thought it would, like, it's not, like, it's not snapped, but I thought, I may as well just get a new one, and anyway, this is my almost worn out, and I've had this for like, I don't know, I've had this for like probably a year and a half, maybe more. I got it in, I got it like, um, I got it in, it wasn't last, it was like, I got it like in like October of 2018, I think. So yeah, I've had it for a decent amount of time and now it's May. So yeah, it was on basically, if you, I have it on Instagram and it's basically, oh, that's when I got it. And um, yeah. And it's almost, and almost is like, one reason why I got almost, because one of my favourites here is this Rodney Mullen, and this is one from this company, so I thought, you know, I want to get that board, so yeah. And it was blue, it was blue when it said almost when I first got it, oh, that's all gone now, you, it, you can barely tell it's almost board because of how much it's been skated, but yeah. And it is a size 7.75, the trucks are fractured, and they are from my very first board, so I've basically had those for like mm, three or four years I don't actually know probably three and a half years yeah I think three and a half years or maybe three months three years three years and eight months but yeah so uh, they've lasted quite well these wheels are quite new so I will hopefully try and um this couple of years months but I will hopefully um what I'm going to do with these wheels, the bones wheels, I'll probably try and like, maybe hopefully take this apart somehow. It's just been on the floor because I don't really know <laughs> at the moment in time. But take these wheels off and um, basically maybe use them just for spares if you get me. Because I have got a whole new complete and um, I know what you're thinking, why didn't I just buy new, why did I buy complete and it's just it's easier. I'm not really good at setting my boards up, so I thought, you know what, and I can't really go to a skate shop you know, at this moment in time, so I thought, you know what, I just used to get complete, I got Glow, Glow Complete, because that is a brand that I think looks cool, and I think Rodney Mullen, Rodney Mullen, Mullen rides for them, and the Skate Accord, I will brand it, rides for them as well, so, yeah, but anyway, it's a 7.75, and one thing that I do like about this is that I like my boards to be not too heavy but not too light and I like a 7.75 board. I don't like big boards. Like I don't like literally if I like I've tried bigger boards and especially like 8.25 and honestly to me it feels so big. I feel like I'm on like a surfboard. I don't know why but it just feels so big and it feels not I'm just not used to it but this one I am so used to it. Like even if it's like the bar and you know its tail is not the best, I would like it. It's, like when I went to the skate park, like even if I've used other people's boards where they've, they've had like, you know, better quality than mine, I still prefer mine because of the size, because I prefer the size, but yeah, like it's really done well, like honestly it's the best board I've had and it's just, it's just done its job and I really like it, it's not, it has like, a, it's like, it's quite a light sort of board, if you get me, like it's not heavy, too heavy and it's also quite like, the concave is quite decent in my opinion, like it's like, and it's not too flat but at the same time it's not too curved but just enough curved and the pop is honestly it's just a great board and like I think it fits my skateboard and like it's and it fits what I want because I do tend to prefer street mostly and I do try to do a bit of um 
freestyle and I won't freestyle but I do tend to do more tricks and I'm not really into doing um, ramps well, I don't mind doing ramps but I prefer like tricks and stuff like that you know so I think this board works well and yeah it's a great board and I would really recommend almost because it just they last really well they last well and they're very like again like comfortable I mean I'm comfortable but I just like the feel of them because I they're quite like also rough boards because again I've been under some boards and they've been like quite soft but this is quite like a hard board and I like a hard board because again like when I'm on a board I want to feel like I'm on a board I don't want to feel like I'm on a surf like I know like I don't know I want it to be like feel like I'm sort of in control and for me being in control is when it feels rough and it feels like I, I can sort of control the board more and it's not too big because I'm not that tall I'm only five foot three Size five um, and my size five feet, so that's and so another reason why a smaller board is not, you know, seven point seven five is the only board size I get. Like there's seven point five boards and eight boards and honestly an even bit bigger board than that. But I've never actually tried any other board because I'm just like seven point seven five is perfect. So, but yeah, I would definitely recommend this board. It used to have a cool design and anything, everything, and now it just has like. <laughs> it's gone, but I'm um, really honestly I work five out of five for this board because it's just perfect and I've had no problems with it. So yeah, and I if you if you I would definitely recommend Almost as a company to buy from because I remember I had a fracture before that and this board does feel a, better than fractured. The, you know, fracture was not actually a bad board. It was a decent board. It was one of the cheapest boards, but it was actually a decent board. Maybe I, that being said, I'm not that fussy. Like I'm not that fussy because I'm not really like an expert on boards. That's one reason why I just got a complete because I thought I may as well just get a complete and get this is old. So, you know, I'm not an expert on pods, so you know. But you know, but still I feel like this one was better than the fracture, but it was but yeah. So yeah. But yeah, I would recommend I guess I would recommend this board if you I think it's like good if you like street or like freestyle or tricks, if you get me. So anyway. I don't want to talk for too long, but yeah, I'll give this board 5 out of 5, perfect. Because it just, the job, and it had the great design. Because I am quite fussy about designs. <laughs> like, I have to like, when I get a board, I have to like the design. I can't get a board I don't like, because some boards, they have like, quite like, um, they just have boards that designs I don't like, you know? I, and I, I tend to, if I'm honest, I tend to go for quite simple designs, just like the name. You know, because I just, I like the ones that I just have a block and then, like, the, the brand of the skateboard and that's the boards that I like. My fracture one was a bit like that. And this almost is a bit like that, basically. I don't know, I just like those boards because they're just simple. I don't, I just like a simple board, I guess. And that's the only one I might do, like, an unboxing, basically. And that's kind of, like, a simple one as well, but, yeah. Anyway, I hopefully I didn't know how it's got for. But, yeah. But, anyway, thank you for watching. My comments were disabled on my last two videos, annoyingly, but <laughs> I don't think they don't disable, they didn't disable on my edit, but that's because I didn't show my face much, so, <laughs> but yeah, but I think if my face shows, I think it just disables it, but I don't know, it might not disable, who knows, but if it doesn't disable, then um, come below the board you have, and um, come below if you would consider getting an almost board. Basically, yeah, and yeah, and I do wish I could. Um, I've got um, like, because I've seen some like Ken Park. He does good reviews and boards, and I like him because he does like, he skates the board, and you see him filming. You get me, but like, I, w I if I wish I could do it like that, but because it would be a better video. But it's just I haven't really like film. I film like clips that I'm not really for that. So yeah, you know what I mean. So. And you know, but maybe even if I do try with my globe skateboard, maybe I could try and do something like that. But I doubt it. Maybe I doubt it because I do have it for quite a long time, like this board. So that's so. <laughs> so yeah. So but anyway, so it might be like I'll just forget to do that because it takes me because it would take like a, like it might be too many clips. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you have a nice day and a nice life. Peace out.